G'day. This is a motorcycle's tale. Previously on A Motorcycle's Tale. What's that motorcycle? Okie dokie, and up to 80 we go. Woohoo! There we go. Yep, okay, this is quite fun. <laughs> it's a Honda Rebel Sam X 500. Okay, first impressions. Here we go. Okie dokie, it's got a bit of pokey. Didn't anybody get my emails? I'm on the road. Why is anybody else on the road? Okay, off we go. Oh, that's a horn. Oh dear. Okay, my feet feel a bit weird, but that's because I'm tall and these are mid pegs and I'm really not used to mid pegs on a cruiser style bike. I'd rather pegs that poke out in front of me. Oh dear, I'm speeding. Okie dokie. And up to 80 we go. Woohoo! There we go. Yep. Okay, this is quite fun. <laughs> well, so far so good. Seat feels pretty comfortable. Not sure about sitting up or sitting back or sitting forward. Kind of in between all three. I'm kind of sitting back, but I'm kind of sitting up, but I'm kind of sitting forward. It's very, very different. G'day, and welcome to A Motorcycle's Tale. This episode, we're talking about the Honda Rebel CMX 500. Normally, I'd stand here in front of the camera and talk to you about the motorcycle, but that's really boring. Let's actually go, get on the bike, and have a ride. The Honda Rebel is a 471cc liquid-cooled parallel twin four-stroke cruiser-style bike, otherwise known by me as a couch, with a seat height of 691mm or 27.2 inches. The seat of this motorcycle is quite low and comfortable. Could you do an iron butt ride on this motorcycle? Well. I rode this bike for almost three hours non-stop and could have gone another hour or two before needing a break. So yes, you can do an iron butt ride, but you might want to buy an Airhawk cushion to go over the four hour mark. What tests do you think today's motorcycle will struggle with? Pause the video and comment below and then let's find out together. Figaro's and figure eights. The Rebel finds figure O's and figure eights very easy to do, almost as easy as the Grom and the Scorpio. There is no challenge or worry that I wouldn't be able to do them. Let the clutch out a little, have a bit of throttle and a bit of rear brake and the rest was easy. emergency braking. With ABS on this bike, in no way was it challenging to do an emergency brake. And 
we release, set, and squeeze, and stop. No fear of locking up either the front or rear brake at all. And I release, set, squeeze. And then, when applying the brakes, a short, sharp, controlled stop. I could have stopped a metre earlier if I really wanted to. Such an easy bike. Zero to 60 kilometres an hour. Every run was easy to do and easy to get to speed. No struggles at all. Go. And 60. Go. And 60. Go. And 60. Up the twisty road. Oh, this is smooth as butter. Oh my goodness, this is just so easy. Not even a single hesitation. The Rebel was by far the easiest bike that I have tested so far on the Twisted Hill. It was so buttery smooth going up the hill with no worries or hassles at all. Going for a ride, and my final thoughts. In my opinion, the Honda Rebel 500 has very few flaws other than the foot peg position, which kind of leads to a, am I on a couch, am I on a kitchen chair, or am I on a bed? And perhaps that after four hours, you might want to take a break from the seat, or at least buy an Airhawk seat cushion. This is probably one of the best learner bikes on the market that I have ever ridden. Most people say that you can get over 300 kilometers on a tank of fuel on the open road. I couldn't find a real weakness to this bike at all. The Figaro's and eights, the emergency stops, the zeros to sixties, and especially the twisty hill were an absolute cakewalk on the Rebel. It makes me want to try the Honda CMX 1100 Rebel so bad. Anyone got one for me to ride and review, please? Thank you for tuning into this episode of A Motorcycle's Tale. If you have a bike that you would like to see reviewed, or if you have any other tests that you would like added to the reviews that I do, please put a comment down below or send an email to motorcyclestail at gmail.com and I shall do my best to include it in a future video. Okay, at the end of every episode, we're going to play a little game. It's called What's That Motorcycle? Comment down below what you think is the next motorcycle to be reviewed. What's that motorcycle?